In the series of Thermal Power Plant Explained, we have covered coal handling plant in Part 1 and boiler in Part 2. Now we are going to take up Part 3 on turbines which is going to be very interesting. Let's start with what is steam turbine and its role in thermal power plant. Steam turbines are huge machines that extract heat or thermal energy of superheated steam and converts into kinetic or mechanical energy. The process takes place like when superheated steam with high temperature and pressure impacts turbine blades, blades start rotating. It causes rotation of turbine shaft on which blades are mounted. Turbine shaft gets coupled with generator shaft, therefore rotation of turbine shaft causes rotation of generator shaft also. Finally rotation of generator shaft produces electricity. It is also interesting to note how energy transforms from one form to other, during the whole process. Like, heat or thermal energy of steam gets converted into kinetic energy and turbine and finally converts into electrical energy and generator. That is how electricity is generated. Here we can see turbine hall which houses huge turbines, generator and other related components. This turbine hall is also called generating hall. The generator is connected to the turbine drive shaft and therefore turbine and generator are installed in the same hall. In turbine hall we can see various turbines of different sizes. Like this is high pressure turbine also called HP turbine. Next is IP turbine which is intermediate turbine and third is LP turbine means low pressure turbine. All three turbines mount on the same shaft. The difference in size can be understood by different steam pressure conditions entering HP turbine, IP turbine or LP turbine. For better understanding we have tabulated some steam parameters at different points. However please note that these data belongs to specific power station and parameters change as per size, make, design etc. of plant. The superheated steam also known as main steam enters HP turbine at pressure around 130 kg per square centimeter. It goes over multi-stage blades and expands reducing the temperature and pressure. Pressure drops from 130 to 28 kg per square centimeter. Steam at HP turbine outlet is called cold reheat. This steam is sent to reheaters to increase its temperature, however pressure remains almost the same as cold reheat. The reheated steam is called hot reheat and is sent to a P-turbine. We can see that HP turbine handles 130 units pressure and IP turbine handles 28 units of pressure, due to this HP turbine size is smallest as high pressure steam requires lesser volume than expanded steam. LPs are the biggest in size because they have the lowest steam pressures which require bigger area to handle the steam flow rate. Stay tuned for such informative videos.